What happens if you build a base with nothing but doors? Welcome to today's ridiculous episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now, you might be wondering, how in the world are you going to build a base with nothing but doors? Well, let me show you how this is going to work. I'm just going to send my dupes over here. I'm going to start digging things down. And what I'm going to need is a whole lot of metal. I may even bend the rules a little bit just to give myself some more metal because of how many doors I'm going to need. We'll just have to see. All right, so here's the situation. I want to get up here to get to this bristle blossom. But how in the world am I going to get up there if all I have is doors? Well, I was looking at this the other day and I was like, you know what? If you take two doors like this and one like that, and then do this number, and that number, and this number, and that number, and this number, whoop. No, no, no. Yes, exactly like this, clearly. You'll be able to get from here to there. No problem at all. By the way, guys, y'all need an outhouse. It's important, don't forget about that. I know you always do. Come on. Good job, Max. So here's how it works. These, So here's why it works. These duplicates can actually stand on top of doors. Matter of fact, we can actually build buildings on top of doors. So they're able to climb up like this back and forth to get up there. Now, I, there might be better arrangements that are more efficient. But, uh, yeah. That's the idea. To take this sort of arrangement, and many like it, and build an entire base out of doors. This is going to be so ridiculous. Well, as a matter of fact, I can go ahead and build my outhouse right here on top of a door because, you know, why not? It means we can deconstruct that one. Now, the thing is, you can't build on top of a pneumatic door. We actually need a solid door, which I guess I don't have research for just yet. Max! Oh, no. Let's do a search through all of my comments ever and see if we come up with anybody who's recommended using doors only. Okay, that was a search for door only. Um, nope. Challenge. Door. Door. Yeah, no. One year ago! <laughs> Max Who recommended a door-only challenge. Yeah. So I'm just getting around to it now, buddy. I'm hopefully you're, you were very patient. <laughs> and here I thought this might be the one challenge nobody's recommended yet. Nope. I was wrong. Now, I'm not going to do an extremely long, like, 50 episodes of this. It'll be a little mini challenge, just a couple episodes maybe, or maybe just one, I don't know. We'll see how far we get today. But here we go. We gotta do some research. Yep. And we gotta get access to this water over here. So we'll just dig this out real quick and then make our way to it. Now they will have stress responses. We got morale, they got downtime. What kind of stations do they have? Nothing. Go ahead and build some cots up there. That'll be a nice place to sleep. Okay, so now, obviously, we need a little bit of a pitcher pump there. So we'll make one of those. Good job, team. And you know what? We should be able to make a room up here, which should help, you know, my duplicates be a little bit... Crap, I can't use tiles. Well, I've got a solution for this. Let's try a, a little different arrangement. We'll go back and forth like that. See if we can actually get to that. <laughs> I chose all narcoleptic duplicates, so. I mean, at least they'll get plenty of sleep. Their stamina should not be a problem. Yes, they can climb just like that. Hey, that's a, that's a more efficient method. So let's not use that. No, I'm just kidding. We'll use it, but we're going to use it over here. After we've used it to dig up everything. I wonder if this is a more efficient method of digging. Hmm. What if I do this? Huh? What is, how does this work? 
I know I can reach anything within like three tiles of this. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll just select dig everything and see what happens. Let's queue this up. See what happens when I dig up everything here. By the way, we should do some research. Jobs board. Where's that? Right there under advanced research. Have at it, dupes. Ha! It is a barracks. Look. Look how happy they are. What about a bedroom? What do they get for bedroom? No basic cots. Hmm, never mind. Hey, you know what? We need access over here. This is so efficient. Look at that. You guys want to see something cool? Check out this little time lapse that I was able to do here. This is using a program called Octolapse with my Octoprint on my 3D printer here and I'm making another hot end assembly thing. There's some more stuff about that in the comment section, but we're at the community tab. But it's just cool that it stabilizes everything here and it just looks like it's absolutely just growing out of nowhere. Like this. Oh no! Like that. Cool, huh? Yeah, I thought so. How my dupes doing? Enable auto harvest? Absolutely. Come on now. Why is this one lacking illumination? Get on over that little shine bug. Thank you. Hey, we got ourselves a jobs board. We need some more research though. I need I need doors. That is the most important thing to research around here. If I can find them again. So I gotta go all the way up to pressure management before I get the manual airlock. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Although I really should do some interior decor. Ah, forget about it. Doors are important, that's all that matters. That and I should really move my food down here to where all the carbon dioxide is. Man! I start you off with nothing these days. I can't even make a ration box. So the one cool thing about this is that everything you dig up just falls straight down. That is pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, really sophisticated. I feel like it's fitting to make some door jokes. So, today a man knocked on my door and asked for a small donation towards the local swimming pool. I gave him a glass of water. Chuck Norris can slam a revolving door. Huh. These are terrible. What do you call a cute door? Adorable. Oh, man, I thought these were going to be a little bit better. Sorry. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. Ha! Or when it's a ladder. Like this. Or a floor. Yeah. Wrap your mind around that one. Oh, no. Everybody's going to get sick. Hold up. Hold up. Wash basin. Wash basin. Look at how much you can dig from these doors. It's like, it's actually not bad. My axe is just like jungle gymming it around. This is amazing, actually. All right, good job, team. Good time. What do we need? What do we need? We need a manual airlock. I gotta, we gotta take this stuff to the next level. I mean, I can't keep, keep placing everything on the ground. Wait. Oh, okay. I was about to freak out or something. What do we need? A supercomputer. The base isn't that big yet. Look at our frame rate. 62. We don't need a supercomputer yet just yet. You guys gonna build this? Unreachable build. Dig, yo. Ain't that hard. I just had a thought. What if you hooked it all up to like an automation signal and you push of a button like your entire floor, all every floor in the base disappears. And your dupes just like fall all the way down the map. Like, ah. ah. Must be the caffeine. Please. Empties. Oh, come on. Empty the bathroom. Ah. Man, I got lucky. This, this map has so much copper. It's ridiculous. Look at all this. Uh-oh. You like how I haven't given anybody a job yet? Okay, who wants to be a miner? Mima. Who wants to supply? Harold. I needed somebody who can research. 
Okay, fine. Heralds will do that. And uh, Max, you can be a gopher. All right, there we go. We got some oxygen. Things were getting a little slim, <laughs> to say the least. But we're doing okay now. All right, so the game plan is to go and dig all the way down here. And then once I have that, I'll be able to store some of this uh, polluted dirt that's being given off. So I don't get a bunch of polluted oxygen in my base. And then I will move that from its unrefrigerated state over there over to this one, and hopefully that'll be all right, so long as there isn't a bunch of polluted oxygen down there. And there it is. Alrighty! Yes, we got ourselves some manual airlocks now. So here's what I want to try to do with manual airlocks. We'll have a bathroom that you can enter, like so. No! A toilet and a wash station. Okay, so I should really have both of those in there. I don't know if an outhouse is going to count for that, but we'll see. All right, so there we go. I should be able to take that, and we could put the... Yes, polluted dirt inside of there. Hey, that works good. Oh, that's adorable. All right, so I'm going to have them dig all the way up over here on the left. And then check out some stuff inside here. There's a lot of mealwood and a lot of bristle blossoms. It's like I already have a farm in this place. It's kind of awesome. It's making my job a little bit easier. We'll put a micro musher up in there because I can. I don't know. A base without floors is weird. And it's really cool, actually. Mmm, I'm caffeine. I'm caffeine. I'm caffeine. I'm wear off. Wait a minute. Who just ate what? Nobody. Nobody ate anything. Knock, knock. Who's there? May. May who? Maybe you ought to give up telling jokes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm like fresh out. Like there's legitimately, like, I don't know. Why is there so many knock, knock jokes? And why can't I find any of them that are funny? Hey, there's like way too much polluted water around here. What's going on, dupes? Make it your stuff already. See, check that out. Look at, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Insufficient water. We'll give it some water, yo. Isn't that hard? Oh, I guess you need a manual airlock. Oh, no, never mind. You can get in there. What's with all the stress? Who's be stressing, Harold? Why are you stressing, bro? Low morale. Your morale is three of four. I'm sorry. You gotta work on that. Who made a mess and why'd you make a mess? Me, ma! Mop that. Mop that up. Mop that up. Oh, no. No, mop it up now. Mop it up now. Oh, no. If only you guys would have finished constructing the extra toilet, we wouldn't be in this situation now, would we? Yeah, so now I have a latrine, so that's good. We can actually go ahead and put in another outhouse there. Just dig it up a little bit. If you want this area to vent, then I'll just do that number right there. I'll put in a pneumatic door. It's like a cheap airflow tile. What did you guys do up here? Dude, that's terrible. I don't know what I'm going to do with you dupes. Ooh, got a natural gas geyser directly above us. No, so, so many things. Okay, so people have... <clears throat> Max has finished his job as a gopher, so he can move up, but I don't really have much to make them, you know... I don't think he'd like it. So, Max is going to become an art student, because I need an art student. There are so many doors in this base. I do, however, need to grow a lot more food. Uh, because, yeah, yeah, we got a problem. Man, that's a lot of research for an espresso machine. 
Hmm. 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 What to research? What to research? Power? That would be a good one. Just about anything at this point would be a good thing. Sanitation? Yeah, that'd be a good one. Okay, I need power before I can really do a whole lot of stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant that, and plant that, and plant more of that. <laughs> this is like the least efficient way to move around. <laughs> it just takes forever. I'm gonna move dirt up here. That way at least it's near, you know, the, the millwood farm so that it's ready to go. So part of the idea be behind having a couple of manual locks here was that it might hold in some of the gases that came off of the outhouses, but I think if anything, I might as well just leave it open because otherwise it's just going to take a long time to keep navigating through that over and over again. Plus, I've already kind of solved that by putting it right down here. That's where all that polluted dirt is going. All right, Meme is now moving to a gopher. Grab yourself a new job. A lot of things that need to get done, so... That should hopefully speed things up a little bit there. We'll take out this hatch. Try to get his food. Oh, what happened to him? Yeah, we got some food out of it. Meep! Welcome to the base! Oh, buddy. You showed up, and I'm not sure where I'm gonna put you. Luckily, we have room inside of our room for you. We'll just put your cot on the door. That'll be an interesting way to sleep. What kind of job do you like, Meep? Oh, yeah, your interest is in cooking. Well, good. We do need a chef. Awesome. It's still a barracks. <laughs> There's just so much queued up. <laughs> like, nothing ever gets done. And the navigation takes so long. I mean, this isn't too bad here. I, where I think it might be efficient if, if, is if you're going from, like, here to, like, up there. You can pretty much just travel in a straight line through a bunch of doors. I think I need a recreation room. So, that should be pretty easy to make. You can pretty much just build something anywhere. So, I'll just do this number. And that'll become my rec room. Maybe it needs to be a little bigger. I'm not sure exactly. Recreation building, no industrial equipment. Yeah, that should work. Oops. Everybody went for a swim. My bad. Uh-oh. We got a food shortage again. There we go. Now we got some food. Uh, see, all I had to do was just go over there and harvest it real quick. Aha! Now I have a rec room. Awesome. What are you doing, Meep? Meep? What are you doing? You're just bouncing up and down. Uh... Okay, Meep was broken. All right, Harold, am I finally up to your sterile... All right, so we need a little bit more downtime. Just a touch. And only for Harold. Apparently. Well, excuse me, duplicates. Why don't you just mop this stuff up? Because you're making a big mess everywhere you go. Anybody? Nope. All right, well, all the water seems to be collecting here, so I guess I'll make a base in there. Whoa, this is so sophisticated all of a sudden. But then how do you get down into it? Oh, I know. Sorry, me. <laughs> Let's put the mopping up a little bit higher. No, no, ah, no. My dupes must hate to mop or something like that. Lock it up. No, no, no. Mop it. <laughs> I love the animation for the water coolers. They just drink it and toss it over there behind them. That's awesome. Are you happy now, Harold? Yes. Yes, you are. Max is going to become a groundskeeper. I got a lot of things I need sweeping up around here, so. Should be pretty good at that. This base is like horribly organized. There's just stuff everywhere. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just 
Mima needs to become a farmhand. Nobody's taking this farming stuff seriously. So she'll head on over there to hopefully harvest some of these plants. Oh no! What's up with my shine bug? No! It's confined! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, open! Open! Anybody want to let the shine bug out? Anybody? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Maybe now they will. Let it go! Go free, shine bug! Oh, okay, good. There, we'll stop that from happening again. Ah, so much sun all of a sudden. Whoa, it even like broke the camera. Yep, come back to me. Hmm. That's not good. And I'm back. All right. All right, well, that's all I got time for today. I think this was an interesting little mini challenge here. I think maybe I'll take it to about 100 cycles or so and just see see what happens. Um, the layout of this base is absolutely terrifying. And the travel time is horrible. <laughs> so there's probably a lot of things I could do to kind of reduce the amount of pathing because going through all of these doors takes forever. Anyhow. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down there in the comment section below if you've got some ideas for me, you know, that as well. And if I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Have a great day, guys. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothkar, out.